Hello and welcome back to the second ever pack with me. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgia Overbeck and today's video is going to be a pack with me slash mini Q&A. On the day that I am filming this, we are officially headed back to Vancouver, BC from Hawaii in 11 days. And so it's time to start packing. I'm not gonna pack every single thing yet because obviously we're still here for 11 days and I'm still gonna need quite a bit of stuff, but I'm gonna be packing anything I'm not going to be using over the next 11 days. I also have a question box on my Instagram story asking if you had any questions specifically about travel or moving. So I'm gonna be answering those. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is last year when we went from Hawaii to Vancouver the first time, I did one of these pack with me videos and it is one of my most viewed videos on YouTube. So I thought, let's do one again. All right, let's get started. First of all, I'm pretty sure I have the same suitcase as last year. I got it from, I think it was from Winners, and the brand is called Kenneth Cole. Also, I also have the matching carry-on, which I should see if there's anything in here, because sometimes that's fun to see a surprise of what you've kept for yourself. I feel like I'm on deal or no deal or something. Let's see what's in the case. Does anybody else remember that show? Howie Mandel? Here we go. And the answer is nothing. I have left nothing for myself. Oh well. That was fun to see. Okay, let's get to packing. This is the first tower of things that I'm going to be packing. I have a mini notebook that my mom got me. My five minute journal. This is another kind of like journal. I use it to plan out a lot of my content the month. This is another book that my mom got me, Simple Acts to Save Our Planet. I have this Greek vegetarian cookbook that I was gifted for Christmas by one of our clients and friends. And I'm really excited. I want to do a whole series when we get, that looks really good to BC of trying out the recipes from this cookbook. I'm gonna probably do that either in a YouTube video or Instagram. Either way, you'll see some Greek inspired recipes coming this summer. I have this coloring book. It's a cat coloring book that my mom got for me. Actually, I might leave this out and put it in my carry-on so then if I get bored on plane, I can do some coloring. I'm gonna do that. I have this notebook, which if you've seen my other videos, you've probably seen this before. It is another kind of book I use for planning and scheduling more weekly rather than monthly like the other book is. Then of course, I have the Blondie's Baking Cookbook Trilogy. My cookbooks are available to purchase. They are linked down below. I have another notebook. This is a Mamma Mia notebook that my mom gave to me for my birthday last year. And in this little box, I've got a bunch of random things. I have my dream cards and my oracle cards. All of my crystals and rocks are in here. Bookmark, some phone cleaning wipes, charger for I don't know what. Some more charger cords. Whoa, I have $20. Yeah. Next stack. I have my book journal. I have my productivity planner. Two more journals. As you can tell, I'm a journal girly. This one is a self-care journal and this one is a recharge journal. I have a book. This is The Emotional Advantage by Randy Taran. One of my favorite books I've read this year and probably of all time. I'm not really gonna be bringing a ton of books back with me, obviously, because I already have a bunch of notebooks and things like that. So you know a book is good if I am bringing it back with me. I have this little moon dish that I've been keeping my rings in. I'm actually gonna put it in that little box. Or my toiletries and things I'm not really gonna be using much in the next two weeks. I have some gravel and like other medications and Tylenol and stuff. Some nail polish, which my current favorite nail polish, it is vegan, is the Sally Hansen Good Pure Kind Lasting Color. If you're looking for a vegan nail polish, that's the one I like to use. Floss refills, and that's about it so far. I'll add more to that as we get closer to leaving. This is all my jewelry. This one has all my necklaces, and then this is rings, bracelets, and earrings. 
this has some more crystals and shells in it. And also it is the paw imprint of our dog Snoop who passed away a few years ago. And then also his chain and a picture of him. I take this with me everywhere. And then all of my markers and pens and then little family pictures. I was debating whether or not if I wanted to start packing clothes yet, and I've decided I can start packing my long sleeve items. I have this long sleeve Magnum Nutraceutical shirt. Very comfortable, by the way. This Hundo P sweater I got when we were in Whistler, BC. This is my Papa's flannel shirt. He passed away in the fall, and we were able to get some of his flannel shirts, and this one's mine. And then this is a shirt that I got here. It says Kona Hawaii on it. And on the back it says, it's never too late to start living the dream. Also have my Roots sweatpants. And then I have some soaps. This one is actually from Trader Joe's. There is no Trader Joe's in Hawaii. I've never been to a Trader Joe's. I actually got this at a garage sale. I'm so excited for the day that I do go to a Trader Joe's. I'll definitely vlog it. I was excited to find this at the garage sale you know maybe this will manifest the day i'm actually able to go to a trader joe's and then this one is a kula herbs soap from the abc store here in hawaii that is going to be everything that i'm going to be packing for right now i definitely will be doing some more packing over the next couple of days this video that is where i will end off now i will finish the video with a few questions that you guys asked me about moving and traveling and all that stuff starting with question number one which is are you going back to vancouver so we are actually going to be obviously going back to bc but we're going to be staying in surrey bc this time instead of vancouver very close still but we'll be in surrey question number two how many suitcases does each of your family members bring back with you it depends on how much stuff we have to bring back obviously i'm doing my best to to sell as much of our clothing as I can so that when we get to BC, we can get new stuff if we want there and also so we don't have to travel with a ton. Sophie, my youngest sister, has two. My mom has two suitcases. Daisy and I each have one. Each will have a carry-on as well. So I think we'll probably have five or six suitcases coming back with us in total, plus our carry-ons. Number three, who's the most minimalist of your family? I actually asked my family this question to see what they would think as well. They said either me or my dad. My dad is very minimalist in that he doesn't buy a lot of things like clothes, housewares, all that stuff. And then for me, I feel like I do buy things, but at the same time, I'm selling other things that I don't need. I really believe in that like one in one out kind of method. I would say either my dad or myself. Question number four, when are you headed back to BC? Our flight is on May 14th, and as I said before, 11 days from now. And then the final question is, when will you be going back to Hawaii? We are probably gonna be going back to Hawaii in November of 2023, six months after we get to BC. And we most likely will be going to the island of Maui next. And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm so excited to take you along on our travel adventures. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe to see more of that. Thank you again for watching and have a fabulous day.